Oh, hey, sir. I guess I can start now if you're here. So you could see everything. You let me know if you want me to start now. Or if you're busy for a couple more minutes. Oh yeah, okay. Let's start it. Everything should be ready. Is there music? There's probably music in the game. Let me... Let's play this. A wall of text. I need my music back then. Hi, Mikiku. Okay, let's see. Let's see this text then. If I say poo ha ha, will that. Huh? Oh, never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind. I wanted to click this and type poo ha ha smiley face, but it's a whole form. Dang it. Defend your castle. Win by killing the bosses. Spawn the bosses by connecting a path. By connecting a path to their tile. Placing tiles spawns enemies. The enemies that spawn depend on the biome that is placed. Biomes in certain combo nations spawn combos. Combos give different effects and spawn more enemies. Kill enemies by building towers. Craft towers using items. Buy items from the shop using gold. Connect your path to merchant tiles to upgrade the shop. Certain enemies also drop items. Get gold by killing enemies. While defending, you can cast abilities. Power shot. Charge up a massive arrow. 
piercing through enemies. Deals 30% max health. 1% less for each subsequent. Hundred percent fire rate for five seconds. All towers with an arrow. Oh, any tower. All towers with the arrow artillery gain a hundred percent increase in range. All towers with the arrow get poison. Camera rotation speed. Oh wow, look at this. It's got a whole ass menu. This is great. Well, there is music. What? Next tab E, previous tab Q. How do I go back? Escape? Oh yeah. Tutorial. New Frontier. Sandbox. There's no tutorial. <laughs> You feel like you're gonna have more here? If you're not gonna have that many more options, you might as well combine these, right? Or am I wrong? Looks like they would both fit. Although maybe maybe some people's screens are smaller. Oh hey Acer. Welcome. Oh you did? So that means I should quit this, right? Just pushed it. Should I restart? Maybe let's restart Steam. It should update, yeah. Damn. It's alive! Oh, my steam is broken! This is bullshit. How dare my steam be broken? You don't know how long it'll take? Yeah, I've never done this before like this. Yeah, this is Acer's game, Arthas. Is patch 1.04 something you really want to see, Acer? Or is it okay for me to... God damn, Steam. There's no, like, refresh the page or anything either. What if I try playing? Prefer if I played it. I don't know how store page. Oh, there is no store page. Duh. Load more activity. End of activity. View latest news. Oh, here we go. this. 
It's like, it like knows, but it doesn't know. It like knows, but it doesn't know. Restart it completely. Oh, I see. So like... Okay, so now I exited there too. There it goes. Oh, that was a nice, a nice tiny little update. Didn't take long. <laughs> oh, look. More stuff. Is there more options now? I don't know what I'm expecting. <laughs> this is bad. Hey, sir. I don't know if you know about this. This is bad. Right here. It's overlapping. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm here! Okay. Where's my gold? Item shop, zero. Arrow, common. Artillery turret foundation. Jolt! Common foundation. I have zero, so I think I just have to place one. A griffin's nest. Gain two random mod items when created. Oh, that's level zero. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. Is my lag really bad? Is the stream lagging? It says I'm losing 6% frames due to rendering lag. The hell? Stream looks fine. Weird. It was happening before I started the game, too. Oh, I also can't... Doesn't look like I can alt-tab out of this. Let's try this. Oh, yeah, no. I'm locked in. Oh, shit. Can you guys see? Okay. Griffin's Nest. Okay, so I, I gained two mod items. I gained a lens and a gauge. Oh, here we go. You click this. Oh, lens, gauge, mod. I have mods. Oh. Shop. Artillery. Five for 26. Do I start out? Oh, there's my gold. Look. 500 gold. I have 500 gold. Uncommon turret. Okay. Wait, okay, shop. Uh... This. Oh, Jesus. Okay, cancel. Cancel. Shop. This. 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 I don't need mods because I have mods. 
artillery. Foundation. Craft. Oh wow, it's got two heads. Spread. Can't build towers with mods? Oh shit, what do mods do? Oh, you upgrade it, right? Increased projectile size. I don't need that. It's just an arrow. It doesn't need to be bigger. What about this one? 30% range. Mm, that seems good. Maybe not yet. Oh, uh, let's do it. Oh, this has hella range. So, I think I fucked up really bad because this portal is right next to my turret. This is really bad! I'm screwed, Acer! <laughs> I'm screwed! Oh my god. Wait. Quit. Use them. Use them. Ah! More turrets. All these mods, god damn it. Shop. Turret. One foundation. Turret. All artillery. Let's see. Speed. Size. More turrets. Shop. Refresh. Uh, uh. Turret. Ballista. Towers gain range equal to the size of the mountain range times. 5% Craft More towers More 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 Okay Okay, start. Do it! You can do it! Yes! <laughs> I can win. This is fine. Everything's fine. Oh yeah, look at all this gold I'm making. I only have 8 health though. Can I buy health? That would kind of defeat the purpose, wouldn't it? Can I do like... Oh, let's make this. Well, look. Quarry. I'm messing them up. I messed up right away! Yeah, and now I don't really feel like I have like... I feel like I can't think because I'm like panicking. Because I messed up really bad. <laughs> Nearby towers gain an additional mod slot. Spawns one dwarf every wave. Oh my god. Oh 
Okay. Can I? Oh, look. Huh? Oh, I have free stuff. Fire rate. You. Fire rate you. There we go. Fuck! Where'd it go? God damn it! I clicked the wrong one. What's that? Oh hey! Thanks for the raid. Is that is that Mighty Vicious raid? Or somebody else? Oh hey, Mighty Vicious! Thank you for the raid. We're playing Towercraft. After which I'll be doing some dev of my own. Thank you for the raid, Mighty Vicious. Robo who just followed. If you know bad Robo. No, my clips are broken. Everything broke. Oh. Try to help me force him onto the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I fixed it. I have so many questions. And oh, I'm willing so to, many questions. And I'm willing to go through anything I have to go through to make you be on the show. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a matter of if you want to anymore. I am yeah, determined we just, we just to get you. To know your secrets. We need to. I don't even need to know the secrets. I just oh, need to I be do. able. To, I just need to I be will, able I to will. digitally bow at your feet, and I'll be happy. Okay, that's all. I'm I want to know how much thermo each leaf costs. <laughs> that background is so pretty. I love it. Thanks for the raid. Mm. I'm playing Tower Crap. This is my first play. This is usually how I play games. I just run in and I like press a bunch of buttons and I see what happens. Hi, Big Mofo. I feel like I should make another one. Yeah, demo. It's awesome, huh? It is shop. Ballista. What is the ballista? Do? Okay, let's run another one. I want to watch what the ballista... This is the ballista. What's it do? Oh, it shoots straight. Oh, it looks like it pierces through. Uh, oh, they're almost getting through. Ballista. I need ballista like... Somewhere it can pierce through. Kind of like right here. This spot would have been good for the ballista. Well, I put it here. This is pretty good. Oh, what's this? Scavenger. Plus 10 damage, minus 10 fire rate, plus 15 range. Plus 20 aim speed. Where'd my ballista go? Oh, it's in the shop. Sixty damage, thirty range, twenty size, minus twenty speed and aim speed. Hmm. Oh, fire rate. Fire rate seems good. Okay, let's make a ballista here. Oh. Turret. Okay. 
Now upgrade. Fire rate. Size. Size. Oh okay, yeah, that's gonna be a good one. What about you? Can I upgrade you? Oh, I have lots of mods. I should use them all. Oh! Oh, oh my god. I don't want to minus the damage. Mm, sure. Thanks. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's missing! <laughs> it's missing all its shots! Oh my <laughs> Oh god! Wait, I have to change the type. Ooh. Oh, I can sell! I don't like the ballista. I need to find another one. Oh, these kind of home in, right? Can I change this to this? Oh, I can! Minus 10 range, plus 10 speed. <gasps> That's a good one. Yeah, I think I can buy more towers. Is this good? Refresh. Ooh, missile. Okay. Let's put the missile. I will say, it wasn't as overwhelming as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really overwhelming. Oh, I have to connect to a merchantile. That's these, right? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. <laughs> I went too fast. I made my way. I did two more. So this run is dead anyway. Go, missiles. You can make loops? <gasps> That's smart. <laughs> I love this! I love all this, like, fun stuff happening. They look like toys. It looks like toys, you know? You should theme it. You should theme it like it's all, like, toys. Like a toys. Everything's a toy. I don't know. Something about that feels like it fits. I don't know why. Probably because everything looks so kind of, like, miniature. It looks like a little miniature. Anyways. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, here we go. Upgrade the tile. Ooh. Whoa. Plus one shop level. The higher the shop's level, the greater the chance of getting higher rarity items. Plus one shop artillery slot. Add an addition artillery. Additional artillery slot. Additional. I found a typo. Best play tester. Plus one shop artillery slot typo. 
shop turret slot add an additional turret slot to the item shop oh more slots Oh yeah, see ya big mofo, thanks for dropping by. So do I want more slots or better stuff? I want better stuff. Now don't go here cause I'll die, definitely. Okay, let's prepare for the boss. Actually, let's not prepare for the boss yet. What are you, Ballista? What do I have? Boulder. <gasps> Ooh. Okay. Okay, I, I... Oh, upgrade. What does upgrade do? Oh. Wow, look at all these. Wait, this one... This one's pretty good. I feel like it deserves an upgrade. And what about this? You deserve an upgrade too. My saw blades are what keep me alive. What did I change you to? I changed you to arrows. What are you? Missiles? I need a better turret. Okay, let's look at the shop. What turrets do I have? Multi-directional again? Always got- I like the damage. I like the damage. I'm gonna refresh. Forward, version 1. Oh, that's pretty basic. <gasps> wow! Fire rate. Oh, this looks good. Okay, fire rate. What good for fire rate? Probably something like this, right? Oh, that's a foundation. Foundation. Okay. I need more damage. More damage. Upgrade. Okay, play. Oh my god, there's so many! Ah! Oh my god! I like watching it. They all look like, like... Everything looks like it's like... From your imagination. I like the way they move. They move in like ways that don't really obey physics very much. It's more like smooth, mathy wet movement. And something about that makes me feel like it's like toys and like it's in your imagination. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and the deep posing. Until it gets real art, yeah. I can't. There's something. There's something nice about the art the way it is right now. But I know what you mean. Like it'll be better. But there is something nice about it. I like the. I like. I don't know. I feel like if someone was not very good at the art, they could make it look like toys. And they could theme it like it's like a board game or something. And then it would, like, it would, like, fit, and, it, and no one would even care. Maybe the T-posing thing would be an issue, but, like, yeah. Oh, let's connect to this. Wait, how come I can't... Oh, I see. Oh, God, I've really fucked myself over. I only have paths going this way. Okay. Okay. 
I'm gonna move over here. You could make it look better, but it's a waste of time. Yeah, because you have you have a new another thing in mind, another style in mind. Uh, I kind of want to lose at this point. I want to start over. Now that I got to see like everything, like I got I got to see the basics. I played a little bit of the dreams one, a little tiny bit. But, to be honest, I don't even think I finished the tutorial. I might have finished the tutorial. Just barely finished the tutorial. Ah, thank god. Okay, I'm dead. I can play again now. What was that? Oh, thanks for the fall, mighty. Try again. Ah! <laughs> It said I broke it. The try again button broke it. <laughs> yeah. I lost, I lost all my health. And then I pressed try again and it crashed. Luckily, it won't crash my computer. I hope. <laughs> no, I don't think it will. Because if anyone's going to crash my computer, it's me when I try to make my game. Because <laughs> I'm not as experienced. Okay, here we go. Now I can, like, like evaluate what's happening. So I definitely want to go up here. You know what I don't like? It's how you know you're on the right track. Yeah! <laughs> You know what I don't like, Acer, is like when I select a tile, I can't click it here to make it like go down. And I don't know why I want to do that so bad, but I do. Like I just want to, I want to deselect it. I want it to go away. And I know I can just like switch, but like, oh, oh, never mind, I can. I can click in the blank space and it'll do it. For some reason I was trying to click it again. No, if I click empty space, then it does it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, already I'm upgraded. Okay. So I'm done building. And my portals are pretty far away this time. And this is still open, so I can close this if I want to. This one's stuck, but that, I got a merchantile out of it. Okay, inventory. What did I get? Oh, I got some mods. Range and aim speed. Okay, now here. Ew, ballista? Okay. I don't like the ballista. Well, wait. If I put one here... Okay, maybe... <gasps> oh my god! I can't place any towers! Oh my god. I have to just start it. Quick! Do it! <laughs> no! 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 Damn it! Oh, one key. Oh, I thought I could click them. Okay. Well, that needs some sort of clarity. Okay, what if I press try again? Should I try it? 
It worked that time. Wait, why didn't it work last time? Weird. Okay, I have to make sure to place tiles remaining. Tiles remaining one out of four. This is not worded good. Okay. There we go. That's a better start. If, if you put tiles remaining, put just a number, not a faction. Shop. I don't think Ballista is good this time around. 10 damage, 10 fire rate, 20 range minus size. Oh, this is good. I like this one. This one's always good. I hate those. Plus size. I feel like that's like not even that good. Ew, another one of these. Make, make sure I don't spread. Uh, okay, I'll take arrows. No. Boulder. This is unacceptable. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm putting everything. Lots of damage. Oh yeah, hopefully I survived the first round. I don't want to refresh again. It's too expensive. Ooh, forward version 3. Three forwards? Ooh, that's good. Ooh, that's good. Ooh, I should maybe... Okay. I think I should do this. Wait. Oh. Oh, I can override it. Yeah. Like that, right? Let's see. Can I upgrade too? Let's upgrade. Okay, here we go. It's gonna be the best tower. God damn! Look at it go. Destroying them. Whoa. Okay, I can definitely start the next wave. Okay, what's in my shop? Ew, boulder. I don't like boulder. Boulder is too slow. Uncommon mod. Hitting in minus 60% damage. Minus 40 size. Heading an enemy decreases its max health and size by f what? By 50%, but increases its move speed. This effect can only be applied once per enemy. Holy shit. That's kind of wacky. Minus range. What's the range? Oh. Oh my god. It's kind of- oh, okay. It's kind of hard to see the range. I can see it because of this tile. That's the only way I can see it. I feel like this is very, very good. Nice. This is good shit. Um, start three. Oh my god, look at it go!
Oh, right, my, um... I have two passive abilities that power up arrow towers. One being a 100% range increase. The other makes arrows apply poison. Oh, is that a passive? or More tiles for more enemies. Okay. Okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do that. So are those passives? I thought those were the ones I had to press the numbers. When was the last pierogi I ate? A long time ago. Because I was eating frozen ones. I was frying up frozen ones. And then I stopped frying up frozen pierogies. I want to learn how to make them. So then I made mashed potatoes. So now I know how to make good mashed potatoes. I like my mashed potatoes. So the next thing is to learn how to make the pierogi dough. I'll probably make the dough and I'll just probably try to make my next step in making learning how to make homemade pierogies. I think I'm just going to try to make homemade dough and use it for something. Or like whatever fucking recipe. Like I need to get a recipe for vegan pierogi is it dough? Is that what it's called? I don't know. But yeah, the next pierogi that I eat, I want it to be homemade. I want to make my own. One and two are actives, three and four are passives. Oh. But they're all in the same menu, though. I'm sure you're going to add more to like make it more, make it make sense. So there's like the merchantile. I feel like I should build this way. I feel like I should need another tower too. I should get another tower. Oh, but then like, is there something I can? What if I do this? Oh, there we go. Well, I got two mods for free. Okay. Okay, good. More tiles. Okay, inventory. Ooh. A pile of spikes that deal damage to all enemies that move over them. The spikes stay on the ground for five seconds. That sounds really good. What if I put the shrink ray on it? my god it can barely reach I think it needs more like oh, let's do this shop do I have anything for more oh here we go more range there we go that's much better okay and let's put damage oh, look at this damage Oh my god. Nice. Seems good. I wonder if it worked. I think it did. The arrow tower is crazy! 
What's this? A mod. Charm. Plus 20% fire rate. Minus 20 range. Minus 30 speed. Every third time this tower fires, the damage and size is increased by 100%. Greased Cogs. I like that name. Minus 10 damage, plus 50 fire rate, minus 10 range, plus 20, 40 aim speed. I want another tower type. Ew. Two, two forwards is pretty good. Mod, mod, turret, mod. You know... <laughs> I wish there was a, like, something, something, something. <laughs> I had an idea, and then, like, I didn't want to say it because it wasn't very good. But it wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Oh, wait, is there music? Every time I alt tab out, that makes sense. Matrix. Creates a wall of energy that connects it to the closest matrix tower in range. Enemies that travel through the wall are stunned for a duration equal to the fire rate of the tower. Oh. 130? Let's sell something shit. Hey, welcome back. I just found a matrix. But I can't buy it. I'm too broke. I want to sell something. Uh, all the things I want to sell are not expensive enough. I need 14. Yeah, I know. But I, like, want to buy it. Because I'm, like, I'm chilling right now. Like, I'm making money. I want to buy it and just keep it in my inventory. Store locking. Store locking. This seems like a good mod. This one is so good. Oh, uh, I have to sell something. Wait, will my shop, will my shop stay if I start it? God damn it, I don't think it will. Oh, really? Oh. What's this song? There you go, Jet Yeti. It refreshes at the end. Okay. Bye. 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 Way faster than I thought it would. 
I feel like I should build more tiles. I need a flat one. Ha 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 ha! I'm a genius! Ooh, a missile. What's this? Dealing damage applies a stack of expos. Every stack of exposed increases all damage taken by 2% and lasts for 4 seconds. So that should be good for the spikes because it applies to everything, right? Boom. Oh, it would be good for a matrix too if I can get that set up. Should I get a missile? Missile seems good. Let's get it. Oh, with bags. Oh, I see. But, you know, the thing about that is it doesn't need to be... They don't need to know. Like, who needs to know that? Ah, oh, shit. I really like these. This is OP. Sharpened projectiles. I think I should sell this spike. Okay, let's see. Can I put one together? Foundation, Ford V2, Missiles, Craft, nice, okay, and then you are gonna have, I think this is good, boom, boom. Boom. Oh my god, they're getting destroyed. can't even get out the gate. Oh, those slimes really tried it, though. Ooh, that was a big wave. Damn it! Oh, actually. Oh, okay. I want more artilleries. Yes, more artilleries. Okay. Okay, what's this? Heavy. 60 damage. Minus 15 fire rate. 30 range, 20 size. Hits hard and long. Freeze shot. Dealing damage applies a stack of frost. Every stack of frost slows by 2% and lasts for 4 seconds. Wow. So that's good for really high fire rate. That's this. This has high fire rate. Yeah. Oh, but if I upgrade, can I? Uh, how do I make it have more mods? Or maybe I can't. I could have sworn I could make it more. Hmm. Hi, Cheeky! Oh, I might even be able to get this one, too. 
Ooh. Oh, my shop is OP now. What's this? Spread version one. Shoots two projectiles forward in a spread. It's more damage. I'll get one just in case of foundation. A little more spread. Quarry, that's how I got more. I see. Okay. So quarry was all those mountains. So maybe uh, it's a, it'd take me a lot to make up mountains over here though. Because I didn't leave myself many open spaces to go. In fact, I only have one open space. <coughs> but this is a really good path. It's like really windy. Like it's optimal, I think. Kill them all. I need to put towers up over here. Yeah, three mountains in a triangle. Oh my god, this arrow is crazy strong. Lightning ball. A homing ball of lightning that deals damage to the first enemy hit. Can bounce to near that enemy up to three times. Oh my god, look at all this shit I have now. Ooh, the repeater. I want to shoot so many lightning balls. Foundations. Foundations, I never get good ones. Spread. Oh my god. I feel like range is good. Wow, freeze shot on this is good. Because it hits multiple things. I want to shoot a lot. So where's that? Yeah. Oh god, the range is too small. Oh, here we go. That one. And this one. Yeah. Game has no music. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the music is just my playlist, Cheeky. I like this one could be good. doing it. Right. 
Holy shit. It's definitely really good. It's like slowing the entire wave. It doesn't do much damage though, but... Holy shit, okay, I made lots of money. I feel like I should try the boss soon. But I wanna like... I want more towers. But let's start like... Meandering our way over. Oh, try the, try the, um... Oh... Oh yeah, I can't see the poison freeze stacks. Right, right, because you took out the numbers because it was lagging or something. Like shop. Ew, I always get these dookie ones. Shoots one projectile, one backwards, one left, and one right. Oh, that would have been good. Wait, it's not too late, right? Spread. Let's do multi-directional. Where'd it go? Oh, I didn't buy it. Shoots one projectile forwards, one backwards left, and one backwards right. Oh, okay. I was like, wait, did this just lie to me? No. Shot. Do I have, I have one foundation. I have one foundation. I need another one. Could I, oh, let's sort. I want... Tourette's. Okay. Ah, the sorting is clutch. Okay, I think spread is gonna be the arrows. And the missiles is gonna be forward. Oh, let me get rid of the high score wars thing. I don't need that timer anymore. One second, everybody. Sorry. Damage is better.
Did I put two? I thought I put two. What did I just do? I think I messed up. Oh, that was a foundation. I thought it was a mod. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Big missiles. Hey, what about you? Oh my god. Ah! Oh my god. Okay. God. Holy shit. This has barely any range, but it doesn't matter because if it shoots, if it like happens to shoot, it like. Wow. That seems kind of powerful. I feel like that, like, three, like, the more, like, directions this shoots at, the stronger it is. Because it'll, like, randomly do damage over here, even though it, you can't even see it. Okay, I want to fight the boss. See what mods I can get in the... <gasps> Poison shot. Ooh. Ah, I need a... Ah, I need a mountain. Hmm. If I had a mountain, I could upgrade this and give it poison and freeze. What about this one? Does this shoot a lot of stuff? You're not sure if I'll beat this? Hey. Okay, more towers. What's this? Pyramid. Two random non-mod items. I got more spikes. Railgun. A laser beam that deals damage to all enemies hit. It will always travel to the tower's max range. Damage. Huge damage. Huge range. What's this? Turret? Multi-directional. Oh. It used to have 1k health, but this update you raised it to 2k? <sighs> okay. Mods. Fire rate. Fire rate is good or bad? I don't know, but I'm trying it. Go. Wait. I can still put more towers. Shop. Oh, wait. No, I don't need to shop because I have some. Oh, what do I have? I have spikes. Oh, I have a foundation already. Bullet. 
Fast firing bullet that deals damage to the first enemy head. Minus 15 damage fire rate. Fire rate bullet. Uh, turret. Is there any better turrets? Not really. Make one, two. Okay, so I should refresh, I think. Ah. Plus 20% damage plus 999 aim speed. Oh, manually aimed. I don't really have that many, like, long straightaway things. Okay. Okay, and then what's my strong shit? I feel like I want to upgrade this one. Shop foundation. Ah, oh, it's too expensive. Okay, sell that. Manually aim it? How? Manually aim it. I don't understand. Oh, okay. Scroll wheel. Okay, so hopefully, I'm hoping that the spikes go right here. Okay, here we go. Okay, hopefully this is good. Okay, let's try it. Oh god. <laughs> it's shooting too far. Oh wait, no, some of them are hitting. Oh my god, it's the boss. Come on, take care of the little guys faster. Disabled? Disabled? Kill it! Oh, it's dead. It doesn't stand a chance. That was so easy. Look how much damage this did. Oh my god, it didn't even scare me. I'm OP. I like this game, Asa. This is great. Five K. <laughs> When do you want the tw Yeah. I feel like it's different every time. I feel like it's different every time. Like, if it's all the way over here, it should have, like, a whole... It should be way harder. Because the player's going to take forever to get there. But if it's closer, maybe it should be easier. I don't know. Maybe that's how you should do it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that too. I was just thinking that. Like, this one is closer to me, but, like, it's gonna... I'm gonna have to go here to get to it. Mm -hmm. I need, a uh, A gray tower space right, right for right here. Although I could... Start building this one. I think I'm just OP now. Do you have detection for how many bosses I've been I've defeated? Like, is this one going to be harder now because I beat this one? Don't have any artilleries. I have one turret. No foundations either. God, give me better ones. There we go. Hi, Joe. Tower Craft. Yeah, join the join the play test, Joe. Mm -hmm. I killed the harder one first. Oh. <laughs> So I should just... I feel like I should just speed run. Awesome. Oh, that's how the real gun works. Holy shit. It really fucks them up. Oh my god. Holy shit. That one's pretty strong. Can I have another mod now? What is this? I have a lot of these corpses. Every many enemy that this tower kill assists in killing explodes on death. Whoa. That sounds really strong. I'm just gonna speed run to the end. You, like, go on the Discord and then you request a key from Acer and then Acer gives you a key and then you go redeem it on Steam. And then you download it. And then it just, it just becomes part of your Steam library.
Nice streak is playing. I'm rich right now. I have a thousand gold. I feel like more curated, like, levels that have, like, a really, like, more thought out difficulty curve is gonna be, like, really cool. Like, right now it's really cool, but, um, if you get more, like, because other tower games that I played are, like, really hard. And that's honestly the reason I don't like them sometimes. <laughs> but I feel like a little bit more difficulty would be cool. You just need to balance it. Yeah. Yeah. And I mean, I did try. It's not like I just mindlessly played. When I mindlessly played, I died right away. And when I tried, but I mean, I, would, I feel like it was a little easy when I was, you know, when I was trying, you know. Yeah, I like this. I really like this. The this boss did scale with the wave, right? Is that how it happens already? Oh, you know, that's how you could do it. Instead of closeness to the player. You could scale the boss with the wave number. It doesn't scale with the wave. Hmm. Yeah, that could work, though. Oh my god, look at all the enemies. Am I gonna be able to kill them all? I've gotten so complacent, I've just been pressing the wave button. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. I guess it could be like X logarithmic. Or no. What am I thinking of? Screwed. Nah, I'm good. Wait, I'm dead! Oh my god, I looked away! <laughs> Fuck! How'd I die? Exponential. Let me show you what I'm thinking. Wait, let's go to main menu. Let's go for a second. <laughs> what I'm thinking. Difficulty. This is what I'm thinking. So, like, there's, like, this minimum difficulty. That's whatever you want it to be. And it starts there. And then, I don't know, like, maybe this is wave, like, 100 or something. Or, like, maybe 100's too big, but you get it. It, like, start here. And then, like, you know what I mean? That way, if the player, like, doesn't prepare, then they're fucked. So even if they do it on zero. And you know, you know what might be nice for the player? Is if somehow you can get some sort of, like, power rating? I don't know. That seems like a pretty difficult thing to do, though, because of the towers. You just posted the current curve. Oh, like on your Discord? Let me see. 
So this curve represents, is it the same axes as me? This, no, it can't be because this is zero to one. Is this, so this must be wave. Yeah, but if you can get some sort of power rating somehow, just to give the player an idea, like when they're about to, or you could like put a num like you could have the boss tower, and then you could have a, a recommended, recommended power, or you could say like recommended at least, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, it's tough. Recommended power 500, something. Something, it doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to give them an idea. Zero to represents, oh, wave zero to 100. Zero to 150 represents base health multiplier. Base health multiplier. Base health multiplier. Yeah, yeah. The boss tower needs to show how much health they have. Oh yeah, that could be good. Base health multiplier. I don't get that. I'm trying. <laughs> Goblin's base health is five, for example. Oh, base. Oh, base. When you said base, I thought you meant like the little, the, like your castle. Base health multiplier. Oh, so like the enemy's base health. Yeah. That makes sense now. It's like the enemy's health. So their health goes up. I see. Yeah. Yeah, but like to this curve, you could add like a minimum threshold. If you're worried about like it being too easy. And it could just be for the boss. It doesn't have to be for all the enemies. Maybe a different curve for the boss. So you could start it at a higher number to make sure that the player prepares before doing it. I love that game. Let's see, is there anything else? Yeah, hence why you want the boss to be 30k HP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I think you get what I'm saying, though, about the scaling of the boss to wave. Like, it actually is maybe possible. Sandbox. Oh, <gasps> do I get unlimited gold? Oh no, I just get to play. Boo! <laughs> I might enjoy it. Oh wait, let me play. Let me give it another chance. <laughs> Gain gold button. Where? <laughs> I want all my little toys to go. That's what I really wanted. Shop. Give me gold, Acer. Give me gold. Yeah. <laughs> Read. <laughs> Read. <laughs> Read. 
Ooh. Echo Shot. All effects that are applied when damage is dealt are applied twice. Oh, the tower, the tower edit menu. Let's see. Oh, I need to make one. Gold, I don't need gold. I have gold. Ooh, lightning bolt. A bolt of lightning that deals damage to random enemy in range. Tower priority has no effect. Legendary! Oh my god. This is gonna be the most crazy lightning bolt ever. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god, look, a legendary mod. Oh, it is, it's overlapping. Damn it. Plus one damage, plus one fire break, plus one range. Every time this tower is this season. Oh my god. What's the strongest one? Oh my god. Press the tilde thing. Oh, okay. Borga. Oh, yeah. Oh, it wasn't doing any damage at all to the Warlock. Why is that? It wasn't even doing one damage. It'll disable it, yeah. Yeah, it's not doing any damage. Oh, it blocks the first 30 instances? Damn. <laughs> it's framing, it's framing. <laughs> oh. 
That lagged it. Why did that lag it, though? I feel like that's not much going on. What's going on? Oh, they teleport? Oh. Yeah, you need effects for that. Okay. That makes sense. I was like, I thought it was lagging. Yeah, it looks like that, yeah. But it, I know it's gonna be... Oh, that's cool, though. Okay, let's see. Um... Wowie, wowie. Oh, I want something that'll make it shoot really fast. Speed up. Oh. Mods. Oh, yeah, here we are. Legendary mod. Max out range and aim speed, but can no longer deal damage on hit. What the heck? Change the item right on the tower, it's easier. Oh. Oh, but I don't know what they do, though. I want to see which ones are legendary. There's a drop down. Yeah, this one. Can I remove it though? Oh, I can. Oh, I can remove it. What's this? On hit, deal true damage equal to 20% of this tower's damage. True damage ignores all damage reduction. Good. Hey, like the new one, Frank? Okay. Let's try Apprentice. <laughs> oh. Dang it. I don't think I can beat them. Oh my god, look how much damage it does when all six focuses once. Okay, what if I do this? What? I found a bug, I think. Oh wait, no, maybe not. Oh, it won't let me. Maybe there's a reason it won't let me. No, there's a portal here. Maybe you need more than one portal? <laughs> I wanted to loop it. <laughs> I wanted to cheat. My last open path. No, there's a path here. This is an open path. Open path. Oh. Because I won't be able to build anymore. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. Oh. Nice. It's not open. That makes sense. Exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, whoa. Damn, Apprentice. I can kill this one, though. Oh, my God. Full fire rate is so strong. Overclocker. Overclocker. Every consecutive projectile fire that the same target increases this 5% in its fire rate. Holy shit. 
Overclocker. 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 Okay, will it crash? Let's see. Oh, I think I can kill the warlocks. I think I might have killed the warlock. Did I kill it? <laughs> I did. It didn't take any health off. <laughs> I did good on that animation. I'm happy with it. Is there anything you want me to test, Acer? I guess you wouldn't be asking a bunch of people to play test if you had specific things, because then you'd just do it. But if you have anything, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to switch over to doing some unit circle stuff. This was great. I fucking love this. This is so fun. Check the different artilleries. Oh, I could try setting up a matrix. I saw this one, this one. Oh, I don't know what this one is. This is about it for now. Yeah. Let's try it. Let's, what's race? What is race? A wave of spikes that slowly move across the ground. Every spike deals damage to every enemy hit. Oh, I don't think fire rate affects this one. So it's basically just a basic ass turret. And it can't even hit because of the way it is. <laughs> this may break the game. It didn't. It held up, but it did not work. Keep forgetting how to like all oh, right but the overclocker it doesn't like give it a base so it's still going slow even though it has overclocker because it hasn't had a chance to really hit that much so it doesn't get a chance to speed up enough but if I like if I do this... Oh, is it not speeding up? Well, maybe I'm misunderstanding something. Oh, at the same target. I see. Rock on, yeah. Orgon? Holy shit. It just melts. Poison fly. Oh, can't hit it because it's not high enough. Okay. That's so cool. I don't wanna I don't wanna play much much more because then I'll get even more fun next time something happens with it. I just one shot everything. <laughs> oh that was super fun.
Yeah, yeah, I'm, I know. I love, I love watching people make stuff, what play stuff I make too. It's really, really helpful. Completely changed the way the game's going and development is super great. So I was glad to be able to do that. It's awesome. Okay, let's see. Thanks for um, letting me uh, play it too. That was so cool that you got the demo out already. I knew you'd been working on it, but I didn't expect it to like come, come along so like quickly. It's like so much is happening already. You'll be updating it. Hell yeah! Already, <laughs> yeah. From your perspective, it's not already. <laughs> But from my perspective, it's like, ooh. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm slow. I'm a slow, a slow. 300 hours over five months. Hell yeah. That's a lot of hours. Amazing. In the future, if I feel like I can handle it more, I want to do more game dev. Right now, I do, like, once a week. And that's because the mental health thing. Like, I'm being very careful with it. Damn! I'm so fast! <laughs> Thanks, Frank. Yeah, but I, I, like, I, like, I, like, barely do much game dev. I do a little bit here, a little bit there. I wanna, I wanna do more in the future. But I'm gonna take it really slow. So that I don't, like, get into those depressions that happened before. So, once a week is working. So that's what we're gonna do. They're basically two times a week? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, you don't have to. When you do it, it's like six hours straight. Yeah, I take it easy sometimes, too. I do four hours, though. I usually do at least four hours. But I don't go over six, ever. Notion, yeah, this is you. You you got me into this. I was watching you organize your stuff, and then I asked you what it was, and then I set up mine. I love it. I love it. The only thing I didn't love about it is it docks my full name up here. <laughs> And then I figured out how to take it off, but, yeah. <laughs> so this is the current, current to-do list. Yeah. <laughs> it, like, takes your email, and then it, like, takes your name from your email and puts it up there. <laughs> and it's so small that you won't notice it. So... That's something that's not great. But aside from that, like, I love it. Like, this is my shit. My goal for Unit Circle Game is to have a playable thing uh, on a website in the next, like, month. Probably next month. It probably won't have a lot, but for my class, I, I'm taking a class for grad school. I already told you, and they, uh, the goal is to make a game. One of the assignments coming up is to make a really, really small game in the next couple weeks. So I, I want to get it ready for website soon. So I'm hoping today to finish the UI completely. The, the menu stuff and connect to the menu so that it works. And if I can do that, it'll be pretty much ready to be, like, posted. Yeah. Okay. So let's see here. Um, this is what we've got so far. We've got play, time attack doesn't work, so these don't do anything. How to play, there's no tutorial yet. 
settings, these work, and they have variables connected to them, but the variables don't do anything. These I need to make, so I need to make sliders. Um, I could use the slider, but I kind of want to make my own slider, just to like help me learn stuff. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, in study mode we have this, we have the cursor, uh, we have the angles, they all work, and then you can press space if you get stuck, and it won't give you points, but it won't take points away either. That's what we have so far. Yeah, thanks, Acer. I'm been happy with it. It's going well. So I need to make a new one. So this is gonna be... What did I do? Checkbox. So checkbox is the control. So let's just do that again. So I want a panel and then I want it to fill up and then I guess I want like a, a tall thing. Oh, here we go. So this is, this is making a style, a panel style with code. Probably on ready, right? And then I guess I could, mm. Yeah, I could do another panel. And then I could like scale it. To like fill the bar. What is it? Style, border width, border top, border color. Okay, so this is good. Okay. This is all basically what I want in this too. Bar. Spider border. Still giving me the same. Oh, new style isn't quick declared. Weird. That's what I did here. 
What's different now? Oh, 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 oh. I can't believe I forgot this. There we go. Cool, so I see the the panel. Okay, and so then I should go here and then adjust the size and stuff. So the size. So let's do 30. Oh, sorry. And then 100. Probably even like 300. That's actually kind of small. Let's do 400, that's easily divisible. Okay. And then let's set also the I want to set, I need to look what it is though. Hello? Ugh, oh, that was weird. What is this? Radius. Corner radius. Corner detail? No. Is it really four different things? Okay. That looks nice. I like that. Okay, so six. Maybe five. Yeah, five looks good. Okay, so what are these called? Corner radius top left. Oh good god. Okay. So then I have to type all those. <laughs> zero to one. Mm. 
I don't need to do this stuff with code. Be oh, wait. Did I have to do the other stuff with code? I don't think I did. Oh my god, I'm not changing it. <laughs> Shit. I didn't have to do any of that with code. I could have just went into the menus and did it. I was so, like, eager. Because here, cause here I had to change it, so I had to do it. this thing. Background color. I think that's actually good. Right. Oh. Oh. Oh, wait. Wait, why is the... Oh, it's invisible. So this comes first. There we go, okay. So then... I guess I want to change the scale relative to the fullness. So... Rect scale? Okay, what, what is it called? Let's see. I want the scale, and I want this to do like this. Wait, what? Oh, I'm doing the fucking border. Scale. I want this to happen. What? Oh. Ah! Uh, okay. This. I want this to happen. Okay, well then, I think this will work then. But then, okay, so what am I looking for? So it's, what's it called? Scale. Rect scale. And then it has a member variable x, right? Okay. So then we can go... Rect scale dot x set that equal to fullness okay and now we just have to change the fullness so maybe right now I can just do it with an input just to see so input uh, is action just press left click fullness plus equals zero point zero one and then input. Wait, what? <coughs> Wait. I've used this many times before. Oh, if. Good God, okay.
Is there a right click? There's no right click? God dang it. <sighs> oh my god. Let's just do your left and right. I can't hold it down. And I, sh I should set it at 1 to start. And then show the border. Oh, the left key isn't working. That's weird. Oh. There we go. Okay. Oh, I wish I could hold the button down. But this is just for testing, so like there's literally no reason for me to make that work. I was just testing to see if I could make the bar fill up and stuff. Uh, this is the hard part where I basically want to be able to detect where the mouse is. Like, if it's right here, then I want it to jump here. Hmm. I think I would have to, like, define a point and then, like, get that, like, define this point right here and then get that X and then compare that to the X that the mouse is at, which I know how to do. I don't know really how to define a point, though, on an asset that can move around. So that I have to figure out. And then I can just literally just use the X value. And then I could also use like, is the mouse hovering it? So that way if you're over here and you click, then it won't like just shoot. And then I could get like the, the minimum X and the maximum X. That becomes a range and then I can literally just get the distance of that range and then divide to get the ratio to get like how far the bar should be full. Okay, but the, the thing that I don't know how to do right now is to define the point on the bar.
relative position instance C. I feel like this question I have is so simple that no one's asked it. Like, is it just like the position? Like this? Position. So this, so if I take this position, this is just rect underscore position. And then if I take that and I subtract what, like this whole thing is 30, right? Whatever number, and then I divide that too, then I get this point. But then how do I get this point? Well, I guess, It'll have to do with the size, right? It'll be plus 300. Okay, so then I can just use the position. The position minus 15. That position plus 15. to the Y. Var, let's call this leftmost position. And then var, rightmost position. Oh, good God. Position. Right, so this is uh, zero. I don't need the bar. Uh, leftmost position, set that to... Oh, this should be... Vector to zero. And then so should this... Vector to dot... Zero. And then this should be the vector to... No. Rect position. That's a vector two. Um plus vector two zero fifteen. And then the rightmost position. Rect position plus vector two of three hundred fifteen. I want to test the positions of the two things that I just made to make sure they're in the right place. Even after like I instance and move the slider around. I'm trying to think how I can do that now.
I guess I would have to make, like, detection of, like, is the mouse close enough to those positions. Which I guess I could do. I think I can get the mouse position within this script, even though it extends control, right? I think so, I don't know. Pretty sure. Forget how I got the mouse position. I did it way back when I did unit circle scene. Here. Uh, where did I do this? For visual? Oh, get viewport. I know it's in get viewport and it's like mouse. Good God, I have so many scripts. It's really bad. Get view more. Get viewport, get mouse position. And I think the mouse position is a vector too. So I could like have an interval. If the, to test. If the mouse position dot x minus 20 is something like this. But the thing with these languages is I can't write this. The computer doesn't like it when I write it like this. Oh my god. That was one of my first problems that I got so confused on. I typed it in like this. <laughs> it, was like, it was giving me all kinds of shit. I was like, what the fuck? You have to do two different ones. You have to do like this half and then I think it's or. No, and, and, and then this half. I guess I could do that. I can't think of a better way. I guess I could make a variable that subtracts the mouse position from the right mouse position. Oh. I could do that. A little temporary variable action. That seems good. Okay, let's do that. Oh my god. The thing I don't like about MS Paint is I can never find my cursor because it's so hard to see. Okay, that's back here. Right most. No, let's do left most first. Var left most. Left most. X distance.
Let's just print that. Okay, try this. Nice, perfect. Why is it negative though? Maybe I should reverse it. Oh, duh, of course it's negative. Okay. Oh, this is- oh, it's 400, okay. So that means this needs to be 400. And now we can test the rightmost. Nice, perfect. Do I only need the leftmost? To be- I only need the leftmost. I already know it's 400. Yeah, why did I even make a rightmost? I guess... Oh, uh, if I wanted to... Be able to stretch the sliders... Then I would need to... Instead of card coding this, I could... Yeah. I could make it into a variable. I guess that's where I was thinking. the right size now so I think I can use the um, mouse entered and mouse exited sing signals as long as I get the mouse filter right Do I want to code in the length of the slider? Do I want different length sliders? I guess I could. I guess I could always add that. Let's leave it. Oh, but what if I want to change the size when I when I end up putting it in the scene? What if I'm like, oh, it's too small? Let's do uh, slider length. So slider length would be equal to the scale. Oh shit, I need my music. It would be the scale dot x. So 
this refers to the slider, this one. And I think that's good. Because I have... Now it's perfect. Okay. So that should be good. Because then when they instance this and scale it, then it should. Okay. And so then this should be slider length. So now I should be able to stretch it at least left and right. I mean, not up and down. I could, but I want to. No, not really. I could add it. It would be really easy to add. Uh, I don't need this anymore. And now I want. So I tested the positions, the positions are good. Oh, actually I do need this more because I just changed something. I just changed the vector, so I want to test this one again. Hey Freakers! Oh, am I testing leftmost right now? No, I'm... What? Oh, rightmost? Yeah, rightmost distance. Uh-oh. Slider so length equals one. Right, it's not the scale, it's the size. Is that a thing? I guess it is. most x distance there so now it knows where this is and it knows where this is with the other variable so it knows where the mouse is relative to this so then I should be able to make like a line maybe with the draw function and then like draw the line where they last clicked. And then scale this to the line. So what's next? What do I do next? What do I do next? So next is clicking. No. Next is detecting that the mouse is in the slider. So I need mouse enter. So, this slider will ignore, and then this fullness, you know, the border, use the border, and the border will, oh, okay, so this one's under, mouse ignore, and then this one is This one is the mouse center. So I want to connect this. Connect this signal. Mouse enter. Emitted when the mouse enters the controls area, provided this mouse filter lets the event reach it. Okay, so 
on mouse enter. Let's try this. Sprint. Do I also need exited? No, because... Okay, let's have something. Bar is in area. Okay, so it is like a constant thing. Okay. Okay, so when it's mouse is enter. If hovering slider equals true, equals equals true. Then inside that if, if you click. The fullness, set the fullness to the mouse position divided by, no, the leftmost distance divided by The leftmost position, the leftmost x distance divided by the rightmost position. Right? No. Divided by the slider length. Yes. Leftmost x distance. Divided by um, the slider length.
Okay. Try this. Oh my god, first try. Nice. Now if I hold the mouse button, can I make it follow? This is cool. I can even click over here. Oh, oh. Wait, why is it always on? It shouldn't be on. First try, yeah, that was cool. It's definitely like going where it needs to go. Oh, nothing's setting a hovering slider false. Okay, so then, okay. That's easy. Okay, so, I think I can change this. Instead of is action just pressed, what other options do I have? Is action pressed. Easy. Nice. Ooh, this feels good. Sliders aren't that hard. Now I just want to draw a line to make it look nice. It's been a while since I used the draw function. So let's try it. So I need to define it first. And I think it's like draw like this. And then it's like draw line. Vector 2 to vector 2. Okay, so I need the position, the X position. I have it with the variables that I already defined. So it's leftmost position dot X plus leftmost X distance. And that's the X position. And then the Y is literally just going to be the rect straight up, or the rect plus 30. So, it is leftmost. Leftmost position dot x.
think that's it. Do for arguments for draw line, right? Okay. Uh, so then it needs what the color. And it needs the width, which will be two. not drawing it. Oh god, debugger. What's this debugger saying? Drawing is only allowed inside notification draw. Draw function or draw signal. Oh. How did I make this? I did it for the unit circle. I made it, like, constantly draw. I forget how I did it. Okay, let's see. You know, circle visual. Here it is. Update. Oh, maybe I use this. Update. But it's like, uh, I see. It's not drawing on top of other things. It's drawing under. So it's gonna always look like this. And it shouldn't be following me. So I think I got the positioning wrong. But this is pretty good. That's literally just the mouse position. Got the, I got this wrong. Oh, left mouse plus left mouse distance divided by. It should be fullness. It should be relative to fullness. It should be... I don't even know why I'm doing it this way. So it should be... 
Where is that? Oh. It should be leftmost position plus fullness times. Fullness times this letter length. There we go. Now it's going where it's supposed to. Okay, and then if I make this visible, then it's going to be like kind of halfway working, but I want the line to be above. Okay. Also, I don't love how the line is like looking at the corners there. So maybe I'll make it invisible. I need to look this up. I don't know how to hide things in the draw function. Try looking at the documentation. I guess I have to change when it updates. Yeah. So I can do it this way instead. So... So if fullness is less than 0.95 and greater than, 
then you update. Otherwise, don't even update so it won't move past that point. I think this will work. Yep, that puts it right where it needs to go. Oh, but it kind of like... Oh, weird. It doesn't like follow. It's like slower. Oh, well, that's kind of buggy. Oh, it doesn't happen. It only happens... Huh. I wonder why that happens. Maybe there's some sort of delay. It's like one frame, right? I guess it won't be an issue. My sliders won't be right on the edge of the screen. Okay, now how do I make this... drawn line appear in front of the slider fullness? I think it's literally just relative to like the nodes that's in the tree. I'm trying to see if there's some way I can make it like go on top anyways. I don't think there is, there might not be. Oh, but draw has to go before update. God damn it. Oh. It's not an issue.
feel like I'm an imposter that can't ever measure up to everyone on the roster. I won't lie that I honestly feel so awkward, like they see me for more than I am, I should win an Oscar. My ego feeds off everything they've ever said, but it will never replace a lot of voices in my head saying, What is a draw on? I just used that. It is, it's draw underscore line. Get parent, which is slider. This fullness, fullness is in there. So what? Line draw start. It should be. Okay. I don't know why it's not auto-filling. That confused me. Oh. Huh? 
Wait, I thought I had oh, I had the equations. Now it's always in front. Okay, but this thing uh, is bugged. I think I can use the same condition. Yay! <laughs> Makes me happy when the new ones are used. Hey, Frank. Way isn't, this way isn't very good. If it goes outside the bounds, it doesn't work. Okay, so I've got the progress bar. How did I set fullness? Where is it? Oh, left my season. So I got replace. Hmm. I know there is, but I just don't know how where it is.
sure I didn't break anything. Good. So I have a working slider. It looks like how I want it to look. Let's try to put them into the main menu. Let's do some organizational stuff. Still need a pause menu. I haven't even made that yet. But a lot of the main menu stuff is going also in the pause menu, so I should be able to copy some stuff over. Okay, so, within this page, oh. there, okay, here we need to add, so what's my, uh, thing looking like, so I've got, VBOX for sound settings. Oh, oh, okay. This is the main one. Video settings. Okay, so within this one for sound settings, we've got sound and then this margin with another VBOX. So I think I just have to add the sliders here. Okay, so it's not properly detecting the actual size of this. Wow, um, why is it so small? I guess I can make it correct, so let's just do that. Yeah, the size is zero. So the size should be 430. There we go. But wait, why didn't that change it? That didn't change how the V-Box did its thing. also isn't working. That's working. Why isn't this working? Something must be blocking the mouse.
Three, two, one. Well, I can increase the separation. It's not working. I mean, that doesn't look too bad. But it's confusing because now it, well, it's not that confusing. Can I do... I might have to do another V-Box. V-Box this. Put these together. Yeah. How about another V-Box? Add another V-Box. Okay, and then put these in this one. Oh god. That's good, that's what I want. So like this, and then this one too. And then this one, do this. There we go, perfect, okay. That's better. Okay, that looks good. Um, I want to now adjust are getting messed with. That should make a change. Well, it made one change. Yes. Um, it seems to be a bit bugged. But it's like weird. It's like bugged but not. And the lines aren't working. But at least this is working. Okay. 
Why is it? It's like weird. Like here is good. It's like the scale is off. Oh. Should be 430. Now I need to figure out why the line isn't drawing properly. But aside from that, it looks good. Why isn't the draw line the line drawing? Because it's definitely working here. Works great here. So, in here. What's different? Well, it's a child of... A canvas layer. Why would that change anything, though? I guess the the size got messed with. Let's try something. Oh, that works. Okay. Let's move this down here. Oh. I see. So the line's going down there. Something's wrong about the code. That can be fixed. Okay, here we go. That's just the wrecked position now. I need to instance this again and take another look. Is it because it's relative? Maybe I didn't need it to be. Mm. <laughs> hey, Okitsu. Yeah, I don't understand, but that's cool. I like that email. Acer plays League. That's kind of close to Valorant, right? Not really. <laughs> hey, what's up? See how that does it. 
Oh look. <laughs> now the Y position is right, but the X is off. So it looks like it is automatically relative, which is cool. You use the emote, because why not? Yeah. Instead of saying pierogi, yeah. So now it looks like there's some added on to the X, which we can now fix. I think I misunderstood the way that instancing and dragging around instance things works. It looks like it automatically like makes it relative, and I was like making it relative, so I was like making it double relative, so it was going too far. So I think this needs to go. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. So now I should be able to delete this. And now it should just work. Nope. <laughs> right. So everything works. Okay, and now I just have to hide it and show it at the right times. Which I can do right here. Okay, the sliders work. Checkboxes and the sliders both work. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna get a video on here. I guess in How to Play, I can give them text for now before I make the video. I should do that. Ideally, I would want you to click this, and then, like, a little PowerPoint would happen. And then you can press back enough times to go back to the menu. So it would just, like, you'd click it, and then a thing would appear, and then you'd click next, and a thing would appear, and then you could just keep backing out. So I think that's actually pretty easy to do, because I already have a variable for my current page. And I can just add to that number to make new pages. Right, and they are like equal, equal, equal. So it's not like I use some sort of greater than workaround or anything, like they're equal. So if I make it equal to something else, I'm not gonna run into issues. Let's save this. Um, now I just wanna think what do I wanna do next? I think what I wanna do next is to actually link stuff up. I linked up this go to the main scene but what i didn't link up i don't need the slider or the checkbox anymore what i didn't link up what's this wait is something wrong um
Yeah, I don't think there was actually any. I don't know why it was red. Just play settings. So I need um some sort of indication that time attack is coming soon. So time attack is here. Time attack is coming soon. Need to link up the settings. I think that's what I should do next. I should make the settings actually have like global variables that I can then use in the scenes. Okay, so I need the global, I need the global script. So that is right here. Currently all the global script does is it has a variable for time attack limit and it has variables for draw line to and show triangle legs. Oh, I haven't even hooked those up to make those work. Okay, so I guess We need variables for music volume, and we need a variable for sound effects volume. And then I just need it to update to the global script. Does this update? So that updates. Okay, so those those variables work. Um No, this is uh GD script. The Dell accepts C++. You can use C++ if that's what you have experience with, but its native language is GDScript. Yeah, it has its own script. I like it, and I've heard other people who had experience with other coding languages who switched over and said that they really liked it, too, so apparently it's good. Because it doesn't really matter what I think about a script. I'm probably going to like all of them because they're new to me. <laughs> and like I'll feel like, oh, I can do stuff. Like, like, I'll be empowered just by the fact that arrays exist. 
which um, an experienced person would be like, of course they exist. <laughs> so maybe my opinion is not a good one. Easy. So I think I can now just print these. Let's go to the global script. Oh, that's a problem. But It should be one. Oh, the actual fullness. Oh. Mm. Okay. The actual fullness isn't being set. Oh my god. Okay, these need to be fucking separated. They're confusing the hell out of me. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so we have volume now. 
and volume control. Throw it all into the fire. Ain't got the time to be flipping through papers. Better get lost when I saw some the aisles. Now back for you catch me a trial. Keep your mitts off my So I guess now I just need to use these variables. Then you could take the day. I don't need to print this anymore. So I think I need to go back to the. Oh god, I hate going here because it's like the most disorganized of all the things I've made. Because <laughs> that's so new. I think if I remade this scene, it would be nice. Navigation through it anyway would be nice. Ugh, it'd be so good. <laughs> it's so bad. But what am I doing now? I'm doing this special thing. Okay. Where are these fucking lines? They're probably in right triangle, right? Yeah. Jesus Christ. I need if conditions. This is actually easy to do. Okay. Okay. You guys are so cute. I almost want to feel bad for your raps and me. But your itty bitty ever scan generate the heat. So hold on to your seat with the beat and beat the lead. You know it's not you. Let it burn what? Yeah, it's true. What you gonna do? It's real gross. Why make me hear something about the couple of rappers trying to kick in the gear? What? Better pop it in the gaudy? Trying to fit his best, I think you're both shoddy. Come on now, let's agree with best. There's been enough rapping time to give it a rest. What now? I like to think of a couple of things, but you know what? I know what's next. It's time for opera. Yeah, it's time for opera. So if global dot draw line to cursor. If global dot uh, triangle legs so so triangle legs is true. Do this and this and this and this. I guess put these in there too. Okay, 
so in theory, I should be able to turn some lines off now. I'd be really happy if this would just work. Wow. Nice. Okay. Uh, turn back out. Wow. Oh, wow. I'm so, I'm so happy. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that would be hard, and I'm not sure why. Awesome. Honestly, I don't think I should. Yeah. Should I leave it like this? I don't like the way this looks. I would want the gray ones to be gone if there's no... Yeah. I should add that in the pause menu, to be honest. Is it in my plans to add it in the pause menu? It is. Okay, so yeah, that should be in the pause menu. Oh, this is the main menu. Okay, but it is. Uh, what's the conditions? So if that's for the these gray lines. So for these gray lines, I also want the other one to be true. I think I did this right. So let's do this. Right. Good. Okay, so the settings work. Uh, there's no music in the game, so that doesn't do anything. And there's no sound effects in the game, so that doesn't do anything. Uh, should I add music? I don't have any music to add unless I get someone's permission. I wasn't thinking about this as like a short-term goal, uh, but it's starting to come together faster than I thought. Well, no, that's actually not true. I, it's, I needed it to come together faster than I thought. Because mm. of my class. I can ask around and see if I can get music. But sound effects? I don't know if I'll find any. I don't really know where to look for sound effects. I mean, I can go on YouTube and download some sounds from videos. I'll have to ask Acer where he gets free sounds. I'm sure there's free sounds. Um, what the hell else do I even do today? I mean, I guess I could make time attack work. Oh, no. That's not my next priority. My next priority is this. I need how to play. So that people know what the hell's going on. I'm happy with this. It's so good, though. I'm really happy that... Like... It's taken a long time to get this... UI stuff working, but... I feel so good about UI now. I understand it. And I can even do my own things, like make little checkboxes and things. Yeah, I, feel, I just feel good right now. I feel like... <laughs> I 
I'm so lazy. I always want to end my stream. But I didn't. I started early today. I didn't do dev for four hours like I usually do, though. I think I'm fine. Who cares? Who cares? Nothing matters. You know why? The next thing is to make the tutorial. And that, like, requires, like, a fresh brain, you know? It doesn't require a fresh brain, but it would be nice. I really like starting out with a strong thing. Okay, yeah, I'm fine with it. I've convinced myself. Let's find somebody to raid. Hmm? Missy's playing Play Up. Uh, I, I'd ideally want to raid somebody doing Goodell. Uh, Ven's doing everything. I don't see anyone in my follow list doing Godot right now. So I can find somebody. Ah. Let's test some mods, space engineers. Dang it. Oh. Well, that's not English, though. Also, it's not live. <laughs> How do I... Search by tag? Browse. Filter by... Search category tags? Oh. I mean, okay, let's just look up. I watch software, oh, there it is, Jesus. Behind Tekken, really? That's a lie. That's a bold face lie. Okay, who's live? Just play some games. <laughs> 3D art. Yeah. I guess I could play some games. I didn't really eat. Like, I ate a bagel this morning, so... I think it's a good time to just... 3D art. Yeah. Let's look for someone here. Is there, like, search tags? Oh, here we go. Dang, no one. No one. It's barren wasteland. Just like dreams. <laughs> um... Let's just raid Van. Thanks for watching, everybody. Tomorrow I do music and dreams. Sunday we're playing Fortnite again, so come on by. Thanks for watching. Bye, Freakers. See you, Daryl. Thanks for dropping by, y'all. <laughs>